on the air tonight. A dramatic final showdown over the Dakota pipeline in North Dakota. In fact, pictures coming in just moments ago. Police moving in right there to make their arrests. Standing Rock wasn't a protest, it was a prayer. And that's the thing is we are protectors, not protesters. A baby bay, a wee a jaje, a wee hinkude me. Hello, uh, my name is Alethea Phillips. I'm from the Omaha tribe of Nebraska. I'm going out to Standing Rock and hearing about it and hearing that it, you know it's a really a youth-led movement and thinking, you know, these other people out here aren't really that much older than I am and uh, going out there and seeing youth leadership and what that means and I think everyone there, whether they're youth or they have youth um, in mind for why we're doing this is uh, kind of what it um, really meant and to kind of look to the younger generation um, as people who are want change and are willing to make change happen. For me, it just really felt like that's where I needed to be. It's what I need to be doing. Uh, youth, I think, see it more as their responsibility to be involved. During that time, I knew I was absolutely going to be, you know, there to the end. And I looked at my dad and I told him, I said, hey, you know, I'm going back over there. And I went back and I did fully intend to be arrested that day. I am the executive director of Native Youth Alliance. Alethea Phillips is the youth coordinator and backbone of Native Youth Alliance. So Native Youth Alliance started out as my father's nonprofit organization and he um, did several things for a couple of years working on the Indian Child Welfare Act. Um, setting up teepees on the mall, working in Washington, D.C. But right now we focus on teaching the next generation um, the culture and the importances and then also working on things like environmental problems uh, to make sure that, you know, we all have clean air and water to drink. In our indigenous ways, we believe that what we do today affects seven generations from now. This vision, it's her right to step in here and help lead. So kind of during the breakdown period of Standing Rock, um, there was some people who came who were taking all the flags down and we said, hey, you know, our flags in there. And he said, well, if you can find your flag, you can have it. And so we pointed it out and we knew just the colors and we're like, we don't need to look around. It's that one right there. And we're going to be bringing the flag back to the Omaha people this year and we'll be returning it uh, to the tribe. And so, yeah, we're really hoping that it uh, brings a sense of pride back to the Omaha people. You know, the Omahas are also facing the Keystone XL pipeline um, and kind of bringing back that as support there as well. This is going to be our world. It is the unification of the indigenous people from all across the country that is going to make the impact. It is us. And this is the climate, this is the economy, this is um, the society that we're being brought into. Oho Liluange. And because it's not just for us, it's for our children, and it's for the earth itself. Ushimaka, Mother Earth.